Recently, my sister sent me a photo of myself from Christmas in the mid-1990s. My hair was larger than life, my eyes were tightly shut from excitement, and I was shrieking with awe and wonder. My grandparents that year had the financial means to spoil their boys and their families. I can still remember my grandmother asking me if there was one gift I could have. It didn't matter the cost. What would it be? I had never been asked that question before, and I wasn't even sure what to say, so I told her, a Game Gear. It was expensive at the time, and it felt like a wish list item. When I unwrapped the gift, I couldn't believe that I had received one. To this day, it's still one of the Christmases that stand out the most to me. My siblings and I also received our very first computer, an Acer. When I read Matthew 2, 9-12 and John 3, 16 and 17, I'm overcome by similar emotions. My heart is filled with adoration, joy, thankfulness, and love. Just like my grandparents lavished abundance and love over my siblings and me that Christmas, God gave us the costliest gift of all time. That's Jesus. When you love someone, you go to extraordinary measures to show them your love. God's heart was never to be separated from his children, but because of Adam and Eve disobeying God, God needed to provide the ultimate sacrifice to restore his relationship with us. From Genesis to Revelations, God's story of redemption, restoration, purpose, forgiveness, and love is throughout the pages. God never needed a backup plan. His plans have always been plan A. God has already chosen you. He's just waiting for you to choose him back. If you have not begun a personal relationship with God, this could be the most epic Christmas of your life. Will you accept the most costly gift of all time? Reflection question. Have you received the gift of salvation? Read John 3, 16 and 17. If you have, ask Jesus if there are any areas of your life that you struggle to receive his love in or need to surrender to him. Prayer. Father God, you are so good. Thank you for sending your son Jesus to pay the ultimate price for my sins so that I can have eternal life with you. Thank you that you are a God of abundance and you love to lavish your children with gifts. Help me to receive that from you today. Amen.